I wanted to go over a few things that have been happening in Google. Man, it's just like every time this past week I've opened up the Google browser, there's something new there. That in the last week they've really did some crazy things, and also they did they they had a Google Page Rank update here in the last couple of days. David, you want to talk about what Google's been up to this week? Yeah, I'm working on it here. Get my browser up. Let me uh, grab the screen. That would be a little bit easier. Take the screen. All righty. Everybody's so quiet tonight. <laughs> There's Claudia. Yes. <laughs> All righty. Let's start. And everybody can see my screen? Yes. I have a Google page, just flat Google page. All right, I don't know if any of you have been paying attention, but um, Google is going crazy lately. Uh, the Panda 2.2 update came out, I don't know, well, a week or so ago. And that was basically Panda for the masses. Panda, the first Panda update was more pinpointed for you know some of the biggest niches out there and some of the biggest players. Now Panda 2.2 rolls out and it's, it's affecting everybody. And it's user metrics versus um, the typical SEO that we normally do, and I was I was explaining to someone earlier this evening. Um, and right now, or previously, the web, the internet was basically controlled by webmasters. And you know, we'd go out and create websites with all the keywords and the right titles and drive links, and it was all webmaster based. You know, the better the webmaster, the better the site ranked. Well, now Google's trying to change that so it's in the user experience field. So the more user experience, the greater time on site, the greater interaction the user has with the website, the better it ranks. So instead of the SEO guys being able to control the rankings, they're trying to put more of an emphasis on the users being able to rank what they want and you'd be able to, to basically give it a thumbs up or down or a plus one is what they're doing. So that's where everything is heading. In this process, they've redesigned Google's interface and made it more usable in it. Uh, I'm sure if you've been around Google today, you see this big black bar at the top, you know, with all of your drop downs that you typically have. And then Google itself is changing. So if you actually just go into Google, they have the totally new design, blue button over here, there is a mic on some of this. And over on the left hand side, they've changed it to where there's no color. And then if you scroll down, you have something different. So you can actually look at kind of related searches that apply to your category but not specifically. So instead of pizza you get steak, calzone, burgers, lasagna. So they've changed that based on some algorithm. I'm not sure how they're pulling that in yet. I haven't been able to track that down. They still have the related searches which they said they were going to get rid of. So that is still there which is good news for us. And then they changed the local listings. Um, if you actually go to the local listings, the entire layout of it is a lot different. It's a lot less information, to be honest. I don't like it. And they're actually pulling in more details outside of Google. And I'm actually seeing it not even pulling in some of the Google details that you go in. So if you went in there and typed in all the descriptions and all that, some of these aren't even pulling that in. But it's making the from the owner massively big here for some reason. I have no idea. And also, if you scroll down, uh, more about this place is, has changed a little bit and somehow it's bringing that in. So the local listing has totally changed and something that we're going to be watching to find out why that has, has taken place. Let me go back to, I've got to type in a different search here to see if I can, uh, Okay, so in this search now, you will always see the plus one button in this. And you will also see annotations like this, shared by 20 people. Um, you're seeing that a lot more now, and you're also seeing reviews being pulled in to an organic listing. And these reviews are pulled in from any review site that Google starts relating to this. Uh, and ultimately, if if it goes to the same thing as the Google uh, on the Google blog, I think it was the Webmaster Tools blog this morning, they were talking about they want to have reviews for every listing, you know, in the top listings in Google. So reviews are going to be very 
big priority for business owners, even if you're selling scarves or you know sewing things. So we're beginning to see reviews being pulled in here and the plus one. If, there, if you have a, a significant amount of plus ones, you will actually see underneath it, you actually see 29 other people plus one did or 10,000 people plus one did. And that's starting to also become a big player. What's more important though, they, they are giving us access to that data. So if you go into your Webmaster Tools account, we actually have plus one metrics now in our Webmaster Tools. So we can actually find out and this is very interesting for the SEO and the ranking side of it. It gives us a search impact of how many plus ones you got, but also what the click-through change is because of the plus ones. I don't have anything in here because none of my sites have a lot of plus ones because it just came out. But it gives you plus one impressions, click-through rate without it, so it does a pass comparison, click-through rate with the plus one, and then the change with the plus one. So we're going to actually have to watch that. And they break it down, and this is what I didn't understand until they launched this. But they give you new plus ones from your site. So if you have the plus one button on all of your blog posts or all of your pages. And then they have plus ones from other sites. So if your website is listed on another website or a directory or someplace, and it's got the plus one button by it, somebody else can give it a plus one. That's an interaction. They call it an activity. Now this is what Panda 2.2 is all about, activity of your website. This is the foundation of that. And then they give you a new plus ones from this period. So this is the baseline of how we're going to be tweaking the rankings. The more plus ones you have, the better it is. The more activity you have, the better it is. And then they also give us another data point here is audiences. And it'll give you a list of your audience that have plus one you if you have a significant amount about in here. So this whole thing is brand new. Um, Google itself only has 38,000 plus ones in its Webmaster Tools, so it's, it's still coming very, very new. If you have any questions on that, go to the Webmaster Tools blog. And they've got some really good videos on there that launched um, this morning. So at this time, I'd just like to open up the questions on this to see if anybody has any questions concerning this. David, one thing I'd, I'd like to bring up, and let, let me un, um, you build Big Campo. You know, we, uh, you know oh, perhaps uh, what we, I think what might be a good idea what we could do is maybe put some of our websites up on Basecamp that we would want to have plus one and together as a group, uh, you know, plus one everybody else's website. What are your thoughts about that, David? I've been uh, throwing around that idea on, because it's, it's just basically a, a script that's running, you know, where someone clicks on a, a, a button and it, it causes an action to take place. And I've been actually getting devious in my thoughts on that. And, you know, some, some of the coupon stuff that we do, we you know, click to reveal source code or click to reveal coupon code and it drops a cookie. Um, I'm often wondering if we can combine the plus one with other activities on our site. Um, but that's one of the things. But, yeah, I don't know what the limit is on affecting rankings. I know it is a part. Matt Cuss did say that the plus one button does play a small part in the ranking algorithm. So it definitely would be a good idea. Um, and, you know, they're also looking at consistency in, in that side of it, too. Now, David, uh, w one thing I noticed since Panda uh, 2.2, type in the keyword radar detector or radar detectors. My site, uh, RadarDetector.org, jumped from about 15 to at least uh, 11 on my browser. So go to the next page. That's uh, detector singular. Yeah, detectors plural. Yeah, yeah. Well, no. Yeah. So you're sitting. Yeah. So I moved. Net. Yeah. Yeah. Net. Was that dot net or dot org? Uh, well, dot net moved up. Net. Yeah, but the dot org, I. Uh, we're we're yeah. typing radar detectors 20, plural. Twenty-four uh, yeah, singular. The, because in, over here I jumped from yeah, 15. Yeah, you're, you're sitting number 12. Yeah, 11. so I moved, I moved up three spots since uh, Panda 2.2 on, on, on that particular website. Um, so, David, do me a favor. Hit the plus one. <laughs> um, yeah, yeah, right there. That's a good example. I don't know if you can see this, but it says you plus one this publicly. So you can actually see it. So if anybody that's in your community does that, you will immediately see that. So if someone else can go do that, I'll refresh. Just let me know when someone did it.
And if, I don't know if anybody noticed, but if you notice something, there's no ads. On the yeah, I noticed page. that. What happened to the ads? It's on the second page. So there's no paper. I think ads on my second page. I think they're updating it, and I've seen this happen. See, there I did it. And it came back on now. But I've seen it where their their system, if it's slow, it kicks it out. It won't do it. Really? Let me unmute Bill here. Oh, there you are. Mr. Bill Bell Camino, or Bill Campo, as Roy likes to say. <laughs> okay, so now you can see you and one other person plus one this. And then if you also see something now, in the pay-per-click, it's bringing in ratings. So you, this has a four-and-a-half star reviews. Over here, it's got ratings on all of this. So we have the user can rate it and drive the rankings. That is freaky from an SEO perspective. So now where, did, where did these reviews come from where, David? Okay, oh. we looked at this a little bit. Um, I think Steve and I looked at it um, because we were really trying to figure out where it's coming from. And, of course, this is the one that's going to do it. No, that's pay-per-click, though. Well, yeah. yeah, I'm going to have to... Uh, Well, I'll just have to tell you, and you have to trust me. Uh, most of them have products in Google and product search. Okay. Uh, a good example. But not all of them. Because if you look over here, you've got bizrate.com, ePinions, Price Grabber, Price Spider, Reseller Ratings, Trustpilot. I've seen basically any review site that out there, that's what they're pulling in. It doesn't have to be Google. It doesn't have to be any of that. You know, bizrate, any of those. That's what's being pulled in here. But this okay. this adds a total new metrics to SEO and internet marketing. You know, we didn't have to get reviews. You know, we we looked at testimonials, but testimonials are worthless from the rating perspective. So now we've got to kind of approach it from how can we get reviews to our websites? Interesting. I, yeah, I, I don't know that answer yet. I've got to figure that one out. So any other comments or anything on this? Something that Inns guys have been seeing. <coughs> Bill Palman, you're being too quiet. I'm just I'm just listening. I'm I I've, I've just been watching everything that's going on and reading everything that's going on and I guess I'm just so you know, a little Speechless. I mean, they're doing a lot of stuff. I mean, they're shut. I mean, they're shutting down YouTube accounts left and right. Um, yeah. You know, I, I feel like I feel like the one advantage of the internet was that the little guy could always compete against the big guy. Um, and I'm I don't know that that's going to be the case anymore. I think uh, Google is going more towards brands. Um, you know, and I think uh, with these these um, reviews and things like that, you know, obviously the the bigger sites like Best Buy and things like that, they're going to have reviews in Amazon. You're so you're going to be able to see a lot of that. And I just uh, feel like Google's going where the dollars are, and you know, um, you know, they just uh, I, I just I'm not sure w what to think of everything, you know. Um, that, that is very well put. I mean, that, that idea I've been thinking about also, not only YouTube, they've been shutting down Google local accounts. They've been kicking people out of Google local that have a misspelling or, you know, just a simple error. Um, and what is happening, because they're pushing the user experience and the brand, you can never break into a market. Mm -mm. Because how can you launch a product that you have to have, like, you know, number one here, 191 reviews, and I'm on page two. You know, you can't, as a new website, get that. So you, can't, you can't compete, Yeah. get the traffic. And, and I, I totally hear that. I don't know how heavy that's going to be. I mean, we're still seeing basic <laughs> SEO. I mean, that's still working. It's still ranking. 